My name is Sarah McNair Landry, and on this expedition, I will be a guide and also a photographer and videographer. I grew up in northern Canada in the Arctic, and from an early age, I just learned how to travel in extreme cold conditions. Most of the expeditions that I'm part of um, are man-powered, either skiing, kite skiing, or dog sledding. So when I told my friends and family about this expedition, they all thought it was a bit funny that I was going to the South Pole with a tractor and two trucks. But um, yeah, they're kind of, by now they're, they're used to me taking off on, on expeditions. I'm looking forward to being part of this expedition because it's uh, very different than other expeditions I've been on. Um, the, it's, uh, in a lot of ways, it's um, going to be a challenge to get the tractor to the South Pole because um, not many people have ever brought a tractor to the South Pole. And that aspect of this expedition makes it really interesting. The, the cold in Antarctica is going to be difficult to deal with, not only um, on a human level, um, but also just keeping our equipment running, keeping our cameras running, keeping our batteries charged, um, keeping our cameras from condensating and from freezing up. Um, nothing works as well in the cold as it does in the heat, and I think it's going to be a constant challenge that we're just going to have to stay on top of it and take really good care of our cameras um, to keep them running throughout the entire expedition. Because if they break, then they break and we don't have anything else. Things that I'm definitely not going to leave at home. One is my camera. I always bring my camera wherever I go, whether it's on expedition or just traveling. Um, and the second um, piece of equipment that I think will be essential for this expedition is an iPod with lots and lots and lots of music. And chocolate. I never leave home without a lot of chocolate. <laughs>